Now if that doesn't look like it came straight out of the Henry Ford factory itself, I'll eat this pink chalk. Hey, the next thing I want to do... Oh, why did I do that? Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to muck around some interior ideas. Righto. A lot has been done since you guys last saw this thing. I'm not going to go into everything, but floors in, seats in. Um, this seat came out of what I believe a Volkswagen third row seat out of a van or something fits okay that folds up um, it's gonna do the job for now it's very cramped in here though um, a bit of that's got to do where my pedals are but they are a very very small cab so what I want to do today I've been I've had a few ideas about all these worlds and I did paint it all and whatever it is a bit of its history and its scars a part of me wants to just leave them as they are but I have another idea and um, Let's uh, have a play and see what we decide. We may go with this idea, we may just leave it as it is, but I also need to do the flooring. I've got some matting, so we'll cut a floor mat for it, um, and do some, do some other little bits and pieces to the interior. So for the flooring, I bought some um, rubber matting now. I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff I've used before. I used the same stuff in um, Doris, I used the same stuff in the F1 and uh, it was pretty good, pretty durable so I thought I'd go for it again I haven't opened this, obviously I'm doing it now but I'm fairly certain it is the same beast on a different day so let's open this up yep, same stuff and it looks retro in an old car it's going to suit this thing perfectly so I want to do some measurements and we'll start cutting this up and the tricky part is making the holes in the right spot that can be a little bit of a pain but I've done it enough times now to be able to do it hopefully correctly let's see what happens there is a bit of wind around today so I apologize for that um, but yeah I just need to measure up where we're going with this mat I want it to go from basically here or even around the sides and as up as far as I can up where your feet go to cover all that up up to the steering column on this side obviously holes through where the pedals are and the gear lever um, 37, 32, 40. I think the easiest way to do this is flip it upside down and use some chalk to mark it out. So what you want to do is go and get some of your sister's pink chalk. Now my sister doesn't have any pink chalk so I just got some of mine. And uh, we go ahead and mark it out. Neighbor have a rotary. Mine does. Ugh. Anyhow, he's got to rev it a few times and all that kind of stuff. We'll wait for him. Um, he might be waiting a while. So anyway, what you got to do is remember we're upside down. I've got to remember, and the reason I'm remembering is because I've made the mistake before. We're opposite to what we're looking at, so I've written on the thing so I don't forget which is the right hand side, which is the left hand side, and where the pedals go so I don't cut them on the wrong side because then I've wasted all my material. So the easiest and the proper way to do this would be mark it out on paper, like butcher's paper or a big sheet of paper. I don't have that because then you could, it doesn't matter, you could make a mistake and you could fill the hole in whatever. I'm just going to do it this way. 
Um, but yeah, if you've got your hands on some big sheet of paper, it'll be easier to make a template. Um, and that's what an upholsterer would do. Someone that knew what they were doing. I'm gonna take these pedals off. And I'll make these holes for the pedals just to slip. Um, just big enough for them to operate because what I want is the, um, I want seal between the outside environment to the inside environment. So um, we're going to use the rubber mat for that. What did I do with my piece of chalk? There it is. Okay. And I've cut it a bit longer just because so I've got extra. Because once it's gone, you can't put it back. So for the steering column, you have to cut a slit all the way out because you can't get it over. I could pull the steering column out, whatever, but I'm not going to do that. I want to be able to pull this carpet out if I need to. Um, I'm not going to screw it down or anything because I've got to get to my brake um, reservoir as well. So it's just, going to, it's just a mat. Um, I might attach it up the top here to keep it in place and it's going to help with sound deadening. But my point was, without rabbiting on like I normally do, this needs to be a hole and a slit. So I need to cut a hole about that size. Doesn't have to be too amazing. And then I've got to cut a slit all the way up. So let me cut this hole and I'll be right back. So now, straight line, maybe, it's not important. Ooh, raise some weight, hurt your fingers, as if you got it on upside down. Uh. Okay, let's hope this works, hey? Look at that, beautiful mate. There you go, that's what we've got kind of going on right now. I need to trim some fat off here, make it look good, and I'll get back to you when I'm done. I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of it. There you go. And now if that doesn't look like it came straight out of the Henry Ford factory itself, I'll eat this pink chalk. So, the next thing I wanna do, I saw this on um, Pole Barn Garage, um, this idea, that's where I've taken it from. So, I should make bets like that, huh? Um, so he did a uh, episode a while back where he was doing up a uh, fair lane, I think it was, for his son. And they didn't have a, a roof lining in it or a hood lining, whatever you want to call it. We call them roof linings in Australia. Um, so he used, like, playing cards. So from that time, I've been collecting them, and I've got tons and... Initially, I was going to use it in the Chev, in the 57, but I got a new roof line with that, and that'll be an episode for another day when I install that. But I bought tons of playing cards, all different ones, Superhero, there's like vintage style, there's Elvis ones, there's Simpsons ones, there's normal ones. Oh, pink bits. Um, so what I was thinking of doing with all the panelling in the back is lining it with these cards. So we'll go into the car now and we'll see how it's going to look. I don't know if it's going to overdo it. The black does look good in there. But I did like the effect on Old Mate's roof. Pole Barn Garage. Anyway, let's get to the car. So yeah, haven't decided. And go for it with this idea. It's not mine. Um, but if I go ahead with it, I go ahead with it. So what I'm going to do, I'll open a standard set. So I'm not <coughs> chalk. I'm wasting the collectible ones. And the idea is put the collectible ones just randomly through and just fill the, the majority with your standard playing cards. Um, I don't have a lot of area to do, so I'm not going to need a lot of cards to do this. I'm thinking about putting one on the dash, like a pin-up on the dash. Um, but I 
just one. That's definitely going to happen. But as far as the rest of it, let's see. I like the scarring of this. It gives it the history and doesn't let old mate get away with the dodgy jit work that he did. Although he did refund me. I think I told you that. So he came good. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back to the previous video, some of the early ones in relation to this back panel. Ooh, joker. So, let me get in, it's so tight. So what I'm thinking is running the cards around. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know if they're gonna stay there. I'm thinking of just sitting them there because I've got liquid nails to make them stay. Is it gonna to be too much? Is it gonna be a cop magnet? I don't know. Or do I just do random ones here and there? Because what I wanna do with the door cards, the door trims, uh, if you notice on this side, I'll show you in a minute. But I've got stickers on it. So door trims are stickers. The actual, um, the cards themselves, the door panel is um, core flute, just like off a bottom of a brick pack actually, from a building site up the road when I was making the mongrel ages ago. And they're waterproof, so I've used core flute for a lot of my door cards, because um, this doesn't have a roof on it, so it's a, you know, thing's gonna get wet. So stickers on the doors, and then cards all around the rest of the place. Let me have a bit of a play, and um, I'll get back to you, hang on. Right, I've decided what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put a spattering of cards around instead of lining the whole thing. Um, I'm not going to overdo it. So that way I can still see the scars and have the cards. And the first card I'm going to put on is the Jack of Hearts. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One of them is the same colour as the car, but there's other reasons. And that's going to go right on my dashboard. So let's put that on first. I'm going to use silicon too because Liquid nails dries really hard, and if I want to do something different in here, it's going to be easier to get the silicon off than the liquid nails. Anyway, first one, let's go. Mm -hmm. Little dab. Just so to give you a quick idea of what I've got. So I've got Simpsons, you've got your standard ones. These are your pinups, Frontier Western style. Um, I've got some Elvis ones, variety. Um, what else did I have here that was interesting? Oh, these vintage snap cards, these are really cool. They're not playing cards, but they're like legit old school snap. One Gun Pete, um, Shifty Sam, Radio Jim. There's a couple of Radio Gyms, so we'll use one of them. And else we got an old timer. That's my mate, Peter. You know who you are. You don't know which Peter I'm talking about, but Peter would. Um, who's that? Warpath Willie. Done. I think that looks all right. Breaks it up a bit. Gives a bit of character. Yeah. So yeah, stickers on the um, door cards. I've probably got some other stickers I want to stick on. But as I go, go to runs and stuff like that. The old windscreen had a heap of stickers on, which I was sad to get rid of because um, I've still got it. But it's going to stay in the shed. But it had heaps of stickers of all the runs this actual cow had been on when it was different cars. So we're going to start again on there, but yeah, we'll load up the uh, the door cards with stickers, and um, that's kind of my interior done. What do you reckon? So that's where we are with the beast. It looks a bit different the last time you saw it. Um, she's ready. Next video, we're going for a drive. So anyway, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed it. 
we're at, coming right at the end. We're at the end. The next video is the end of this series on this car and um, we're ready to do some runs but yeah you'll have to wait till next video. But anyway, stay tuned, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.